Um, Earth Day, Duke University study has found natural variability impacts global warming. (gasps) Bad news for the climate change crowd here. Researchers at Duke, this is the Duke lacrosse case, Duke. This is the Duke where all those faculty signed on and believing that the lacrosse team had mistreated the the dancer. This, I mean, Duke is, <laughs> it's, it's a liberal institution from top to bottom. Researchers at Duke University say that global warming is not progressing as fast as it would under the most severe scenarios outlined by the UN's Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. In other words, the computer models are not correct. Global warming isn't happening anywhere near like the models said that it would be happening by now. Researchers at Duke, looking at 1,000 years of temperature records, found that natural variability in surface temperatures over the course of just 10 years can account for increases and dips in warming rates. Now, for those of you in Rio Linda, natural variability variability in surface temperatures means it gets hot now and cold. They're just natural, you know, one day it's 75, the next day it's 80. A natural difference. High forecast next week may show 90 degrees for two days, and it may hit there the next three, maybe down in the 70s. Natural variability. In other words, nature. Researchers found that nature, over the course of a decade, can account for increases or decreases in warming rates. The researchers said that this variability, nature, could be caused by interactions between the ocean and the atmosphere or other natural factors like the weather. Yeah, the weather could be... The sun, <laughs> imagine, could be a factor. The global warming crowd tells you the sun isn't, though. No, no, you're not allowed to talk about solar energy, sunspots, storms on the sun. None of that is relevant to global warming. Even though the only engine of heat is the sun, it is off limits. Anyway, the researchers at Duke say that trends over just a 10-year period do not show very much long-term warming at all. And there's no evidence whatsoever to suggest that long-term warming over the next 100 years is going to be anything even noticeable, abnormal. Duke University. Researchers, i.e. scientists. And there's a consensus of them. These researchers, there's a consensus of these people that there isn't any warming going on. Patrick Brown, a doctoral student in climatology at Duke's Nicholas School of the Environment, said if that message gets out, then I think there'd be less back and forth arguing about these short-term temperature trends because it doesn't really matter that much scientifically. Oh, Mr. Brown, I wish I could speak to you. You're a doctoral candidate. And what you just said has no relationship to the global warming crowd. We've gotten your message out for 25 years. The message that there isn't any warming, and there isn't in the specifically past 18 years, there isn't any, and we've gotten that message out. And there hasn't been any reduction in arguing. In fact, what's happening is the global warming crowd is not even pre- is not even allowing dissent. They want to shut up people that do not accept the consensus. Actually, this is this is encouraging in a way. Here you have a doctoral candidate, obviously in his uh, mid twenties, and he thinks he's got evidence. This is I love this. This is a young guy. He's got evidence. He can take the evidence to the global warming crowd, and it'll it'll, it'll they'll see it and they'll believe it, and there'll be less arguing. That's not at all what's going to happen, because this isn't about science. It isn't about facts. It isn't even about warming. It isn't even about the climate. I have long contended, and our official climatologist here, Dr. Roy Spencer, has not been happy with me over this. But I've argued with these 
these uh, climate scientists that don't buy into this. You're, 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 you're falling into the trap when you argue science with them. They don't have any science. They got computer models. You're losing. People can't keep up with the science. You start studying clouds or whatever aspects of the climate with scientific explanation, you're going to lose everybody. And that's not what they're using. This is pure ideology on the march. And it's got to be dealt with and refuted in that regard. But the climate scientists who oppose global warming say, well, no, they're, they're presenting it as science, and that's how we're going to refute it. They're presenting it with, with scientific data, they claim. We've got to refute it, which I understand. Uh, but it's all bogus to begin with. It's garbage in, garbage out, analyzing garbage. Treating it as real in order to refute it gives it credibility that it does not deserve to begin with.